Hey athletes, Coach Chris here from uh, Sweat Factory Rockledge. I hope you all had a good week. Happy Friday. I'm um, here to go over Saturday's workout, which is Macho Taco. So, we're going to start with the warm up. Warm up is going to be uh, three sets of single unders. So, want to keep those elbows in, right? When we're doing our single unders, we want to have uh, just a nice little flick of the wrist, a nice little jump, right? Nice little rhythm. Just like that, nice and easy. Keeping those elbows in, focus on that. Starting to work up, uh, getting our heart going a little bit. So 30 seconds of that, then we're gonna go right into Active Samson. So Active Samson, clasp our hands together, reach for the sky, then we're gonna go into a lunge. Wanna make sure that our shoulders are nice and active. We're uh, contracting our abs to keep our chest from going up, to keep us from going back like that. You wanna keep everything nice and tight. Hold that, feel that nice stretch for about 30 seconds. After that, we're gonna do slow air squats. So unlike the normal air squats, where we're going a bit faster pace, same thing, we're just gonna go nice and slow. So we wanna keep those points of performance in mind. Wanna make sure hips back and down, knees tracking over the toes. We want about a hip width uh, stance, maybe a little wider if we need to, if we've got a little bit of mobility issues. Um, and weight on the heels. Only thing we're gonna differently, only thing we're gonna do differently this time, we're gonna go a little slower. So instead of a full speed, we're gonna take it nice and slow. Really feel that weight on the heels. Feel your knees pushing out. Just really feel the squat. And come back up. All right, squeeze your butt at the top, you're done. 30 seconds of those, nice and slow. Nice and easy. Um, so after that, we're gonna go into the dumbbell warm up. That's uh, three sets of those, by the way. Three sets of 30 seconds of singles, 30 seconds of active Samson, and 30 seconds of slow air squats. After that, we're going into the dumbbell warm up. You want each side with a light weight. So we're gonna start, I got five pounders here. Five pounders will do something nice and light, really just to get your body used to the movement that's coming up. Um, any odd object around the house that weighs just a few pounds will do. Um, if you see Maisie's little dog running around, that'll do too. Um, so we're gonna start with 10 deadlifts. We wanna make sure with this, the weight is outside the leg. We don't want to start the deadlifts in here. We're gonna start out here, just like our hands would be in a normal deadlift, right? They'd be right outside the hips. So hand right outside the hips. We're gonna send the butt back just a little bit and then just bring that down. Chest comes down, butt comes down, hip comes, hips come down at the same time. Want to try and keep that weight over the feet, right? Keep that dumbbell over the feet. Stand back up, weight on the heels. Make sure that your shoulders are back, everything's nice and active. Um, so 10 on right side, 10 on your left side for those. Then you're gonna go straight into that, you're done with that. 10 hang cleans and strict presses. So once you're done with the deadlifts, you're here, we can immediately transition into a hang clean. So again, butt back a little bit, our feet are already about hip width apart. Just send the butt back a little. We're gonna come down to about mid thigh, right here. Keep that chest up, shoulders back, and we're gonna explode off of this. Explode the hips, come up, nice shrug, catch the dumbbell, stand up, and then do a strict press, right? So 10 of those on each side, then we're gonna move into 10 front squats. So once you're done with that last strict press, you're here, 10 front squats. So just like we did with the squats, except you've got the weight out front. So feet should still be about hip width apart, maybe a little wider again if you need to. Butt back and down, knees over the toes, weight on the heels, right about parallel, a little below, stand up. 10 of those on each side, squeeze your butt at the top. 10 of those on each side, then finally, 10 step back lunges. So you finish the last front squat, you're here. You're gonna take one leg, step back, lunge. You wanna be about 90 degree angle. You wanna make sure your torso is nice and straight. You wanna make sure your abs are engaged. So you're not pulling back like this. You're not leaning forward like this. You're nice and tight and straight, right? Stand up, other leg. Or uh, do 10 of those on one side, 10 on the other side. Then. We're done with the warm up. That was fun, right? Now for the workout. It's 
going to be five rounds of a three minute AMRAP. Looks a little confusing, sounds a little confusing. It's really not, it's just five rounds. You're going to do as many rounds as possible for three minutes, take a, a one minute break, and then do another round five times. Um, one round is 60 double unders or 120 singles. So if you're proficient with the double unders, 60 is quite a bit and you're doing five rounds. So you want to make sure if you're choosing double unders, you're pretty proficient. Uh, you want to be able to get to pretty much those 60 without stopping too many times. Um, I, if you're really good at them, if you really feel confident in them, then go right ahead and do the double unders. If not, do the singles. Um, then we're going to do 20 jumping lunges. So jumping lunges, we're actually going to start in that lunge position we were just in for the warm-up. Um, and from here, we're going to keep everything nice and tight. We're going to come up, jump, switch our legs, and come back down into a lunge on the other side. So right now, my left leg's out front. We're going to jump. When I come back down, my right leg's going to be out front. The main thing here is that we want to try and make sure just our legs move. We want to keep everything up from the hips up nice and tight, right? We just want to come up, switch, come down. So it's going to be like... Just like that. Want to make sure that when we're coming up and down, the only thing really moving is the legs. Okay. Make sure when you're jumping too, when you're coming down, you're not hitting that back leg too hard. Right. Make sure when you come back into it, kind of slow it down a little bit. If you want, you can have a, if you have a pad or a towel or something to put down, that might help too. Or if you work on a, if you do it on a workout mat, something like that. Um, even outside in the grass would probably be okay. Just uh, if you're on concrete or something like that, just watch your, watch your knees. Um, so 20 of those. And then the real work is max rounds of double dumbbell macho man. So got your two dumbbells. You did your double unders. You did your jumping lunges, grabbing your dumbbells. One round of macho man is three power cleans, three front squats, and three shoulder to overheads. So on the power cleans, starting down here, weight outside the, the hips, right? We're not inside, we wanna be outside here. When we start, one end of the dumbbell, touch the ground. Got those feet about hip width apart, point it out a little bit, butt back and down, come on down, chest up. Want our arms nice and straight, shoulders back. From here, we've got the one end of the dumbbell touching. We're gonna try to just come up and then explode into the, uh, into the clean. Catch it, stand up. We're gonna do three of those, right? So immediately come back down, touch, make sure that one end touches. Come back up, catch, done. Do three of those. On the end of the third one, you're here. Do three front squats. So, butt back and down, knees tracking over the toes, weight on the heels, chest up, shoulders back, everything nice and tight. Three front squats, then three shoulder to overheads. Once you're done with your three front squats, the shoulder to overheads, you can do just a push press for those, or you can do a push jerk. Once they get a little heavy, you might wanna start thinking about a push jerk because the push presses are gonna get heavy. You're doing three for each round, and you're doing five total rounds. So you might end up doing quite a few of these. Um, something to keep in mind, use a weight that you think you can do about four plus rounds unbroken. Um, the RX weights for these, I think, are 50 and 35. If you think you can do that, awesome. If not, um, think about a weight that you might be able to handle for four plus rounds unbroken. Don't pick something that's really heavy and you, know, you might hurt yourself or you might, uh, you might have to switch the weights. Try to try to gauge that a little bit. Do a couple practice, practice a little bit with it if you need to. Um, you're resting one minute between rounds, so you're doing three minutes. Stop, rest for a minute. Record your your rounds and your reps. Go to the next round five times. Your score is the lowest round, so it's the lowest number of rounds and reps. So if you did 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, your score is 20. Um, Keep that in mind. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, it's a lot. Be careful. Good luck. Uh, take it easy. 
have fun with it, and um, have an awesome weekend, everybody, and hopefully we'll see you soon.